we all already have a caller waiting for us, Viola from Sylacauga. Uh, Viola, so glad that you're joining us tonight. Uh, how can we help you this evening? Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, yes. ma'am. Um, I have a question concerning um, Social Security and uh, RSA, RSA uh, retirement funds. I had some uh, deductions on my RSA, but I did not have any done on my Social Security. Mm -hmm. So is that something that should be done every year or? Well, uh, yeah, I understand your question. Um, so uh, a lot of people who get Social Security um, want to know when they can quit uh, filing a tax return and quit paying taxes. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there is no age limit. Um, but there is an income um, uh, uh, formula to determine if you still have to pay. So if your only income is Social Security, you don't have to file a tax return because it's not taxable. But once you get to where one half your Social Security plus um, your other income equals over $25,000, it starts at uh, progressively taxing your Social Security. Um, I, don't know if, I don't think it was originally set up like that, but um, unfortunately it's become where Social Security is taxable if you have other income. So people ask me, how do I quit paying taxes? I say, well, call the IRSA and tell them to t quit sending you money. But they don't want to do that, <laughs> and, and for good reason. Um, it would be hard to live just on Social Security. Right. So um, she's talking about withholding, and so a lot of times people are surprised when they have their RSA and they got the proper amount of tax taken out, but they had the Social Security and that's had nothing withheld. And that can cause them to owe taxes when they come in to get their tax return done. And that is not a good surprise for people on a fixed income. And it's a combination of those two numbers if it exceeds 25000 That's right. And anyone on, a, on an RSA pension is going to have additional tax on their Social Security. Right. So the way people handle that is some people have some deductions of their, their uh, income tax withholding on their RSA and call Social Security and have it done. A lot of people find it easier to work with the RSA office. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter which which pot of money you take it out, have it taken out of, it's going to be the same amount of money. So if you got to your tax repair this year and you owed $2,000, you can call either one of those places, whichever one you can get through to quicker, which is probably going to be RSA. And you can tell them, I need another $2,000 withheld out of my check so I don't get, have to pay, come up with that money in, uh, in April. On the other hand, you can also just put the money away in a savings account yourself and just hang on to your money, especially if it's an interest-bearing account, and pay it when your taxes are due. So it's up to you. But your tax liability is probably going to be if RSA is not going to change, Social Security is not going to change. So whatever you owe, you might as well make plans for to have that money or have it withheld before tax time. That's great advice. advice. Excellent mm -hmm. advice. Excellent advice.